Well, the HOA sent over their attorneys, and Alex was not having it. <laughs> So as some of you guys know, we are officially running for HOA president, and now the HOA is finding any reasons to fuck with us. And their most recent shot at us was when I was gone at the Rhode Island Comic Con and my sprinkler heads broke and it caused some flooding, which also caused a little mud pit to form in my yard. And they deemed that as enough to send me a citation. Along with this citation was a fine. Alex called me and told me all about it, and I told him I would pay it when I get home. He said, no, Dad, I got this. He proceeded to go to the bank and get 12,500 pennies and paid this $125 fine, all in pennies, and they said he can't do that, and he said it's federal currency and walked out and flipping them off at the same time. They called me and told me that this was completely unacceptable, and I said, well, call your attorney and I'll call my attorney. We'll see what happens. They did just that, and their attorney came to my house. And here's the thing that you all need to know about HOA attorneys. They are worse than the HOA. They are extremely manipulative, they bully people, and they use the fact that not a lot of people know their rights and the laws of the HOA against the homeowner. They are disgusting people. The attorney rang our doorbell and of course, who answers the door? Alex. The attorney introduces himself and says why he's there and asks to see me. Alex calls me over, I walk up to him like, yeah, how can I help you? He then very rudely started telling me about what the HOA is doing, why they're doing it, and that what I did was not okay and against the HOA policy and laws and blah, 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 just going on and on and on, right? While he was rambling on, I stopped him and I said, yo, my son paid in legal tender and there was nothing in any rules or any laws that say my son couldn't pay the way that he did. It is federal currency. You have to take it. This attorney threw up his hand out of frustration and said, Mr. Pratt, I think I know the laws better than you do. <laughs> oh, Alex didn't take kindly to that. Oh yeah, something else you should know about this attorney. He was like five foot three. He was a tiny dude. <laughs> so after this attorney threw his hand up and was super disrespectful to me, Alex was like, dad, calm down. You don't want him to take you to small claims court. <laughs> oh my God, what the fuck? Here we go. The attorney. Oh, young man, yeah, you're hilarious. Alex. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you could hear me all the way down there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why the HOA has a problem with you people. Alex. Oh my God, he's short-tempered, isn't he, Dad? You know what? I'm not even mad. I'm just let Alex go. Alex. I'm sorry, sir. What is even your name? It's Timothy Caldwell. Oh, Dad, Tiny Tim. Hi there, little feller. <laughs> Listen, I'm not here to argue with you. I'm just here to let you know that they did not accept your form of payment and there will be late fees and penalties. Alex, uh, does that mean you're not going to show us how to get to the wizard? <laughs> what is your problem, kid? Honestly, truth be told, I'm just jealous because I'm way too tall to represent the Lollipop Guild. Sir, are you going to do anything about your son here? Nope. <laughs> Look, I can see that you guys are not going to take this seriously, so I'm going to go back to the HOA and let them know you're not going to cooperate. Alex! Okay, bye. Let me give you directions back to the Shire. So you're going to want to take a right out of here, go onto Highway 121, and follow that all the way down. If you hit Mount Doom, you've gone too far. There shouldn't be any orcs along the way. <laughs> I close the door, I give Alex a high five, and we go watch Lord of the Rings as a celebration. <laughs>